I told you I'm in the opera, tiny old glands, all see your eyes, we call the third eye, we came to deal, not pay your bill, sailing in the capital, we see the seals, like old kill, the sentence of Asia, I don't feel this, not so close to me, that's like the people, get us to Nancy, we be coping with seven twins, we got amnesia, we got amnesia, claiming we Christian Cretans, and love with Yahweh, Muhammad, that Jesus brought you was living inside of God and was a fetus. But believers, and never believers, not believers, cause we can do mind shaking, hesitate, and hold some deeds. Peace and love. What up, though? What it do? What's popping? What's cracking? Let's talk about it. Let's build. I see somebody put the sad face. Somebody sad. <laughs> they upset because it took me what? Ah, uh, let me see. You know, I can't see. Let me see. What that time? Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes for me to appear. You know, my bad, my apologies. You know, think about when time was not <laughs> some shit like that. Don't be mad. I probably need to get them out of the um my view. I don't know why this mic keep moving to the left. Set it off to the left, to the right, to the left. It keep moving to the left. Mm -mm, not so typically when y'all see me um, throw up a bill concerning Silver Spoon and Freebase, that's based around my story and who I be and who I am and all of this and all of that. That's not, you know, the headline news and the, you know, metaphysical news and the if conscious, if you will, news and so on and so forth. That's like personal, actual, factual to the T. No assumptions, no opinions, no none of that. That's like how y'all say a thousand, a hundred. I'm trying to, yeah, so I can get that on my face. There you go. So, um, I guess it's it's still going to be based upon my opinions but it's going to be based off of not just my personal experience but based off of evidence that's available for us all to review preview you know take a gander all of this and all of that right so let's talk about uh you know some of the people i want to get at and i want to make this brief because you know i don't want anybody to anyone else to make the assumption that, you know, um, I don't know what to call it. Like, um, I just talk shit about the brothers, so to speak. I don't have any smoke for our women. But, you know, if you've been watching the bills, you know that that's not a fact. That that's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So... It's just, I don't know of many cases where there have been women sexually abusing children, although I have brought that to the forefront as well. Like I said, I don't care what sex you are. If you are abusing children or are participating in a house and feel Negro behavior and, you know, I'm going to step to you. That's just what it is. So let's talk about uh, baby York and that's what you know that's what we call him around here he's baby York I don't have to say M Noke and all of this and all of that and no light and you know I'm talking about instantly just off me saying uh baby York peace and love peace and love says thanks for checking in appreciate you always um so his next court date is what what is this? December? I think it's December. It's in December. I don't want to. 
give a date and not be 100 on it but many of you are i'm sure have been following um you know his proceedings within the judicial setting of the state of florida all right so you know i wasn't there you wasn't there you know whatever but like i say if it walked like a duck quack like a duck it's a goddamn duck so right here according to the people the people who have been subject to watching this man perpetrate a fraud in front of the people for some years now you know what we want to give him a decade maybe give or take although you know make no mistake i am aware that he was around prior to the social media setting you know you can look at some of the when we went over all this already some of the uh nuwabian dvds and things like this and that and you can see uh baby york you know adorned with the fizz or the tarbush and you know teaching the the nuwabian a new nuwapic in arabic and you know what i mean like it go like this the guy baby york he set out and he sold what some of us uh have labeled as uh sovereignty packages right not only that when he bounced on the scene he was talking that shit about you know he beat a murder case and he didn't use an uh an attorney and you know he stood on his square and you know he issued tort claims and all type of you know the jargon i know it well maybe you don't i know it well but this is what he was selling to the people, right? You know, he was telling the people, you know, ah, oh, forget a mortgage and, you know, that's a dead pledge. And, you know, he, he was talking that more talk, you know what I mean? And once again, right now, he has an attorney, right? Not only that, this brother was, you know, talking about the male wives and, you know, the sisters not going to the hospitals and, not signing of the birth certificates and you know how he buried um his baby's placenta for sexual relations with two females yeah like i said thank you thank you for that information you know i don't go light i don't go light on women or men who violate children you know we even i even took a chance by sharing something that could have got us flagged as far as um the particular company, you know, who uh, created the particular documentary that I showed a portion of, um, that even showed a picture of the woman who uh, was who molested. What's his name? What's the pimp name? The pimp who, you know, if you rock with this, you already know what it is. I don't even want to say it. You know what I'm saying? To give you, you know let y'all go back and see it but um you know i talked about that i talked about the babysitter who uh, was molesting lily from the group swv's daughter which was a woman as well so you know thank you for that it's just a little bit more difficult to find you know the women versus the men but like i said i show no slack on either or they are need to be dealt with in this manner instead of us waiting you know so back to baby york you know we all know he's been around you know what i mean but my point being is he came and he you know gained a uh, uh, a lot of financial support and stability and security and all of this and that and you know he's whipping around in the rented rolls royces or bentley's or phantoms or whatever you want to call them and wearing a $1,200 gym shoes and telling you, or sneakers, if you will, I told y'all I'm from the D, we say different shit, and I'm old, so we say gym shoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, this cat, he was selling that, selling that, you know, that, you know, we're sovereignty, and, you know, we have a, a, a brand new covenant, you know what I mean? And this is our nation and nationhood, but here it is, he has uh, an attorney, an esquire, Popper, how I fucked that word up all the time. I don't care. 
told y'all how I feel about English. I don't give a shit about this language. You know, a lot of times when I corrupt it, it's intentionally. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes I do actually need help with the pronunciation of some of these terms, you know, to keep it a buck with you. But I, I'm going to give you as much reason to fuck the language up, you know, the, the, the fork tongue language up as I do, because you fuck it up and you laugh at me when I fuck it up. And I say I say shit like Derek. Caveman, Coven, Chavin, Chavin. You know, when I say Anthony, Folky, Focky, Fo, you know I know what the fuck that man name is, right? But you fuck the language up too. When you say it's Monday, you fucking the language up. Because it ain't Monday, it's Moon Day. When you say Saturday, you fuck it up too, because it's Saturn Day. It's Saturn's Day, Saturn's Day, Saturn's Day, it's the Saturn's Day. That's what it is. You fuck it up too. So don't if if you are not laughing with me or attempting to actually assist me in the correct pronunciation of some of these terms, some of these words, then you know what I mean. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, like I said, guilty, guilty, guilty. He's guilty because he is in the forefront right now, paying bonds. And paying bills and using attorneys and shit like that when he was selling packages telling you you don't need none of that. He even had a debate with uh, Minister Malik Shabazz of the new Marcus Garvey Black Panther movement. Remember that? And uh, who's an attorney? You know, Malik Shabazz, the attorney. You know, he was, you know, this brother's, you know, selling y'all UCC packages and all of this like we know this. You see how we go in, into their venues, i.e. their courtrooms, that court where they play them games at. And you haven't seen none of us go up in there with no attorney while we're sporting the noble, royal, sovereign headdress known as a fez or a tarbouche or, or a turban, you know? You see, he sold you that shit, but he coming through with the attorney of Cuban descent, you know what I mean? He's, yes, sir, no, sir, your honor. You know what I mean? None of the shit that he was selling to the people, he is not repping that shit right now. None of it. And nothing that he has, is giving the people now, you know, whether you're talking about stocks and bonds or whatever, uh, what do you call that, Bitcoin? Uh, what do you call that type of currency? Crypto, the crypto shit, all that shit, that's information you can acquire on your own. You do not need a baby York to give you any of that information. Okay? So he has defrauded the community of melanated indigenous aboriginal autochthonous Americans or Moors, if you will, or Pan-Africans or Hebrew Israelites. He defrauded the people. And based off of that, if, if he's a fraud in that manner. What was the charge? I said, um, uh, and I don't want to say his name, Petty Kelly. That's on trial right now. What did I say? Larceny. You know what I mean? All of this. Your boy, Petty Kelly. Sylvester, the molester, Petty Kelly. You know, he tried to get a police officer. Well, he did. He had a police officer who also worked for him, a retired police officer of the Chicago Police Department, come and testify in his behalf, who was convicted of a felony. He was convicted of larceny. Hmm. So once again, according to me and those of us over here on this side. Who watched Baby York prostitute a, a bunch of templates, templates, templates copied and, and paste uh, information from cracking the code and the redemption manuals and all of this and all of that. And once again, these, uh, these are that particular literature. It's a literature that I would rec recommend that you partake in reading. Okay. And I'm not sitting here and, and telling you that everything within those pages is relevant to us but the information is good to know that's just like goddamn a, de a declaration of independence and a magna carta ain't relevant to us worth a fuck 
But we need to know the information to know who these people are, right? And once again, any, in my opinion, any literature that is giving you the various statues and codes and mandates and executive orders and all of this shit, you know what I mean? Because there's millions of them. So you can't sit here in front of me and tell me that you are aware of all of this shit because you're not, because I'm not either. Okay? So in my opinion, any a book that's going to provide any of that shit, we need to have our eyes, eyes on it. You know? <clears throat> How they say that? Eyes on a prize. We need to have our eyes on it. So, Baby York is guilty. He's out of here. Period. You know, anybody at this point who is attempting to try to hold that up, you know, you need to get the fuck out of here with his ass. That's how I'm saying that. You know what I mean? And this is without even speaking on what he's being charged with, which is the reason I said baby York. Walk like a duck, quack like a duck. It's a fucking duck based off of the fact that he tried to mimic what he did, I don't want to say try. He mimicked exactly what uh, Dwight York did, who was guilty, 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 guilty than a motherfucker. All right. He mimicked it not just in the uh, uh, his his lifestyle is what I'm talking about. I'm not even talking about the particular uh, literature that he put out. You know what I mean? And him even getting around doing the lectures and being able to um, finesse of various celebrities because once again, York did the same shit. He finessed many celebrities. He fucking finessed us over here. What do you mean? So, point being is this. The, the, the finessing and you know, the multiple wives and multiple lives and the getting ghost in the ghost. You know what I mean? Like, that's what that nigga showed y'all. He tried to recreate and do the same shit. So why wouldn't he uh, be willing to participate in the negative, the fuck shit? You know? And once again, in my opinion, the men and women who uh, 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 display this type of behavior and, and, and harm our children, they don't deserve to live. Period. You want to show the babies you care? Hmm. You know what I mean? And you want to stop pedophilia? That's how, to me, you know, that would be a sure sign that that is something that you need not to do. And if this is truly some type of, it, it, we know it's sick and, and it's something uh, uh, mentally going on, right? So we either going to do one or two things. We're going to set up a place. For these people on another landmass to put these people the fuck on or we going to, you know what I mean? Get rid of them. You going to get rid of them this way by getting them up out of society or forever. It's not, it's not, you know, for eight years or 10. No, this is shit is forever because the other shit, this shit, when I say this, y'all know what this means. The other shit would be this. That forever, right? So it's really for me is no substitution. There's no probation. There's no parole. There's no none of that. Period. And that goes for rape, period. Even inside of a prison, a man who will rape another man deserves to be. That's it. You're done. That's the ultimate violation. You're done. And the same goes, so I'm done with baby York. Guilty, guilty. This nigga tried to sell you a bunch of shit. Now he out here with an attorney and clearing his throat and no sir, yes sir, and all of this. Why he told you he beat a murder case. You know what I mean? With, with them documents, with the correction of status. And you know what I mean? He prostituted a bunch of information, like I said, that you could have acquired on your own. You did not need him for that. Okay. So, baby, York, out of here. You're guilty. You're done. Done, done, done. So, Petty Kelly. Sylvester the molester. Let's deal with him for 
less than two, three minutes. Regardless, let's just say a trial never even happened. You know, they didn't even bring new charges against him. He was still the man who was found not guilty. Keep in mind, not innocent is nowhere in it. Once you play their game, you got two choices. And the two choices, well, you got more than two choices because you got no contest and all of this type of shit. If you have the type of charges that he had against him, you understand, I'm not even sure. I'm going to keep it a thousand with you as much as, you know, I have displayed to be, you know what I mean, competent of this law shit. I have no idea. And then, once again, no contest is what is not innocent. So, not guilty, guilty, no contest. Where's the innocent? We're innocent at. Innocent ain't nowhere in that shit, right? So, let's just say, you know, the, the, the case that he beat because of how, whatever he fucking beat. He beat that case, right? Now, 20 years later, damn near. Well, it's 20 years from the videotape because I don't think he didn't, that, that other trial didn't start to like, what, 2008? I don't give a fuck. My point is this, y'all. Guilty. Guilty, 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 guilty than a motherfucker. You know why he is guilty than a motherfucker? According to me, in my opinion, in my experience and the evidence, the reason he's guilty than a motherfucker is because let's go back to what 94, 95, right? This bastard got away with marrying and impregnating a 15 year old, right? Got away with that shit. You know, he gave up what half of his catalog to her mammy. Her uncle already had his shit on lock. You know what I mean? He definitely paid off those who were there and those within his circle to shut the fuck up about it. So he lost millions back then. He lost millions back then when he married the 15-year-old and did the forgery and all of this and all of that that he was not brought to trial for. Charges wasn't pressed because his he came out of pocket big time. OK, so let's just say for those of you who feel that you're spiritually inclined based off of your belief within uh, King James version of, of a book or fuck it, I'll say Bible. You can say Bible, you know, Biblos, Bible, pages, papyrus, whatever. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Whatever. OK, let's say you say, you know, well, you know, we believe that once a girl begins her ministration that it's okay for a grown ass man to partake in intercourse with her right let's just say you that's your uh, uh you're part of that tradition or custom or culture that's what y'all do right all right now hmm look where we at that shit ain't acceptable over here. And then there are, I was corrected. I'm going to say I was corrected because I never made this as a statement. But we know the age, the legal age of consent in various territories varies. It may be 17 here. It may be 16 here. It may be 18 here. It's even some fucking places that they say a 13-year-old girl can give consent. You understand, but fortunately, none of these places that this scum ass nigga was doing this shit in, this wasn't the case. I, right? but let let me go back because like I don't want to spend a, a bunch of time on Petty Kelly. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that. So he escapes and survives all of that shit with the marrying a fifteen year old and all of that, and he paid off this person. Then he survives it again in in the multiple uh, uh, civil suits against him that he settled. You know what I mean? For hundreds of thousands of dollars that adds up to millions of dollars for violating women when they were not of the age to be able to consent to sexual intercourse with an adult man. Okay. So now we in twenty twenty one. And let's go back to 2020 when he did the interview. He had the two young women who were underage 
when they uh, were given to him. You know what I mean? They, they was given to him, right? But they grown now. And you got two of them. You think you you think that shit about the ride, nigga? Did he forget once again that he illegally married a fifteen year old? This nigga guilty now. You're guilty. Why would y'all even have to think about the shit? Why would you even have to think about it? I don't give a fuck if he was Michael Jackson or Jesus Christ, nigga. You guilty. You're guilty. Whether he has five hundred thousand. You know, put up here and five hundred thousand in cash put up there, and seven hundred and fifty thousand in cash put up put up over there, or six hundred twenty nine thousand four hundred and twenty three dollars put up over here and over there and over here and over there. It don't even fucking matter right now. It don't matter. You're done, nigga. You're guilty. You kept trying it. You kept doing the same shit. He done. I don't even. I don't need testimony of any goddamn thing. That nigga done, but see, he's done in a way that a lot of the things that he was doing out here in society, if and when he's convicted, you know. Not to mention, he still got other cases after this. Y'all know that, right? Still got other cases. But some of the same shit he was out here doing, you know what I mean? When they lock his ass up, some of that same shit he'll be able to do. That's why I say you nip that shit in the bud. That's it. Or you put the the, the mentally unstable, sick motherfuckers in a place together. Let them motherfuckers deal with each other. The fuck away from us. That's elimination. You know, you're going to put you're going to put people like this inside of a prison where we know it's multitudes of our innocent men and boys and very young men in there who is innocent as hell, who are going to be exposed to this motherfucker. Who still has money hidden every fucking where I don't give don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Hmm. You know we got money hid everywhere. Over here, over there, everywhere. You can play crazy all you want to. Okay, I'm done with him. Next person I want to talk about is y'all boy Sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe. Sloppy Crack. Oh, Sloppy Cracky Joe, Sloppy Joe. Joey Crack. Cracking them crack. (sighs) Now look. Those of you who know me know that I done had a problem with him for a minute. Um, I want to say it started with Kaepernick in the not standing for the National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, you know what I mean? And I was upset that your boy Sloppy Joe made the statement that, you know, look, I love America and Kaepernick shouldn't do that and they're wrong. Y'all know he said that, right? Okay, I don't know if any of the brothers or sisters that you know, he uh, keeps within his circle, school him on the Star Spangled Banner in, you know, 1812 and so on and so forth to let him know that that is a direct, that is a direct blow at your own ancestors. So why would I stand for it? You know, not to mention uh, Francis Scott Keys was a slave owner and so on and so forth. And you know what I mean? Like, it was no reason for us to ever acknowledge a Star Spangled Banner, whether you're talking about the thing that looks like the flag or whether you're talking about their national anthem. 
So that was strike one and strike, you know, with that, you know, once he made that statement, any time after that, I heard him use the word nigga and nigga, that just really just pissed me off. Like, bruh, what, what is going on? So when he had the uh, verses with who was Jaru and he referred to Lil Mo and who else was it? Vita? Is her name Vita? Vita. Yeah, when he referred to them as, as, as bees and crackheads and whatever the fuck else he said, like, dusty bitches, like, I wasn't surprised. You know? His car should have been revoked a long time ago, but a long time ago when I was talking about this shit, you know, people was hitting me with, you know, his heritage, him being, you know, from Barikwa and talking about Taino and all of this and all of that, you know what I mean? Bruh, no, I'm not fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? He don't even look like it. Have you ever seen his hair grown out? Do you know, have, have you? <laughs> Keep it a buck. Don't play with we. Don't play with we. And this shit look like it's red too. Not to say that we don't produce that. You know what I'm saying? My little sister Sandy Brown in the mud. So yeah, that's not what I'm saying at all. Naturally, naturally. I just, I can't rock with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never looked at him really as being one of us like that. I just don't. And I rock with many of my brothers and sisters that's from the islands, you know? Hmm? He just not one of them. So I wasn't surprised and the apologies and you got to apologize and I apologize and all of that. Like, nah, you would have never said it. You know what I'm saying? If you was one of us, you wouldn't have never said it unless you the fuck meant it. So don't say it and then say you don't mean it and this is war and all of that. Nah, nigga, it's music. It's, it's art. It's your artistry. And yes, I understand that. But in order to be a great MC, you do not have to be disrespectful for Especially, it's like you talking shit about the band and shit. Like, what the fuck did the band? They they just there as backup singers and shit. And you, you know what I mean? Then, yeah, because that's what it is. Look at them. First, don't let them say nothing. Just look at them, and then let them talk. And you know what I mean? You are not fucking with sloppy Joe. That's his third strike with me. You know what I mean? I don't even know what the second strike was. And no, I don't know what the first strike was, but I'm sure it was a strike in my book, in, in the book of Royal. You know what I mean? He had a strike already. So when he didn't support a Kaepernick, you could have just shut the fuck up as a somebody who looks the way you look. You know what I mean? You could. I, I see what you produce. I saw his son. I don't know what love hip, not love hip hop or growing up hip hop or whatever it was like. We see what you produce. You know, and I'm from the D, so all of that, you know, somebody that don't look like one of us using, you know, the word nigga, like, we don't fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? None of the brothers and sisters of uh, Mexican descent who I'm cool with has ever used the N-word. You know? Even those who are darker than George Lopez, who I know. You know what I mean? I don't, you know, I don't, you know, we just, I'm not fucking with that. You can't tell me, you know, this is America's the greatest country. First of all, America is a fucking continent, number one. But I'm not even checking for that. I'm checking on the fact that you will use that as an excuse to slander someone who is kneeling, not necessarily because of the context of the Star Spangled Banner or the national anthem, but he's kneeling basing off of the fact that you know what their slave patrol officers do to our people. Specifically, they, he, they, their movement within the NFL, the Melanated Brothers and Sisters, and even, I don't even know if any of the uh, pale people participated in, in kneeling, taking a knee to the uh, national anthem. So I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, Throw them in a mix or whatever, or throw them under the bus and shit. But the point of doing it was against the police brutality. The police who continuously sexually assault, kidnap our people, 
extort robbery, uh, uh, steal our cars, you know, kidnap us and hold us for ransom and murder us. That's the fuck that kneeling was about. It wasn't about uh, uh, um, the army or the Navy and, and those who go out in, in the name of the corporation known as United States of America, which is the largest, wealthiest corporation known to man, criminal enterprise known to man. Like, what the fuck is Sloppy Joe talking about? So that and the calling of the, the sisters, the names and shit, and then you want to turn around like the white man and say, my black queen, I'm so sorry. I love you so much. You know, and not to mention, you know, he got rich. He got, you know, I don't know. I guess he's rich. You know what I'm saying? Off of doing the Elvis in my eyes. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, not one of us, period. So who's next? Ah, uh, Nick Hustle or Nick Cannon. Nick Shannon Cannon. He wants to be Nipsey Cannon and he's going to go and you know, in, in, in the name of Nip and in the, in the memory of peace be upon him, Dr. Sebi, he's going to do the documentary and he's going to put it on a map that Dr. Sebi cured people with HIV AIDS and all the great things that he did. And, you know, and what had happened? Where is the damn movie? Where the documentary at? What happened? What happened to the documentary? Hmm. Nick Hustle, what happened? That's your name. You know. Nah, he tried to wear the noble head dress, the turban, and come out and kick the Moorish lingo and this and that and that and this and was messing around with the Pan Africanist Muslim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, Got his show took and shit, so we had to come back and apologize. And he forgot to trademark the show. And you know, he's supposed to be so business savvy, not to say that he's not, but you know, what happened to the movie? That's what we want to know. So guilty, guilty, he's guilty. You know what I'm saying? Even though he ain't on trial, he's guilty. He's guilty. The people say he's guilty, so he's guilty. We're not fucking with you. I'm not watching. What's the name of the show? We're not even watching the show. Until you put that movie out here somewhere. I don't care if the, if it's the Kane uh, Film Festival. You know, you, you put it straight to uh, Amazon the same way they did uh, the new coming to America or something. Until you do that, we're not watching. Wild and out. We ain't watching Wild and out. We on the Wild and out strike. We not sorry. We, we not apologizing to uh, uh, Kazar, uh, what you call them, Akhenazi, Kazar, Yiddish people. We're not apologizing to them about saying shit about them because we predate them and every goddamn body else on this earth. So we're not apologizing to nobody about nothing. That's why I can say what I want to say. That's why I can carry an ill, bay, day, Ali, Al, Shabazz, E, She, whatever fucking noble title I wish to attach. To my appellation, ain't nobody got no business saying two fucking words to me because, because no people on this planet who carry recessive genes can predate us anywhere. Meaning that if I decide to deal with the Vedas and, 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 and for the Hindus do the Hindu and, and the Hindi or whatever the fuck I want to do, I can do it. Hmm. My birthright every goddamn where. What the fuck are you talking about? So, we not fucking with you. Many of us don't fuck with you anyway, but we really not fucking with you. You know what I mean? Not to mention he didn't have to cut a check. He didn't have to cut a check. He didn't cut a check to any of uh, uh, Dr. Sabi's relatives. Wives, relatives, children, grandchildren, not one check. You know? So you banned. You know? We want to see that movie. So everybody can know what we already know. You know, ran off and got scared and started making all these apologies. And I apologize like he and Nita Baker and shit. And we ain't seeing no movie. 
So this probably gonna be the shortest bill. Nah, it ain't. It can be. It could have been. But last time we was talking, I talked a little bit about something known as the affidavit of parentage. You know, and if you heard me just speaking about, oh, you know, you need to do an affidavit of parentage and in order to you know, accomplish this, that, and the third, right? You would think that I'm reading some sovereign citizen ideology, uh, redemption shit that I read in the redemption manual or something like that, you know? Y'all always talking that shit about affidavits and uh, declarations and proclamations and they don't honor that shit and, you know, white people don't care about that shit. They gonna put you in jail and they gonna... Yeah. So let me show you something right quick. Let me take myself off the camera momentarily. Give me a moment to gather proof because I don't just like to say things. What's going on with the mouth? I don't just like to say shit. I like to show it if I say it. You know. And I always tell y'all, I say, hey, how is it that our people accept and honor and celebrate a declaration of independence of what is it, 1776 or 1770? I don't give a shit. But if I speak about a declaration of nationality or a declaration of sovereignty or something like that, you attempt to ridicule me the same way as the foreign invaders who are here on your land illegally. You laugh and talk shit, you know, with them. What is really going on with you all? Right. So when I say something like that, it sounds like, oh, you just saying something slick. You just put two little things together that don't necessarily go together. You just making up shit. Right. That's what y'all say. Right. But once again, you're wrong and you're guilty and you're wrong. I need a gavel in this piece. So. The state of Michigan. And I told y'all, too, about the birth certificate. I didn't sign a birth certificate, but the state of Michigan put one into circulation anyway. They don't give a fuck what you sign, what you don't sign. They got guns and, you know, and they got charters and mandates, and they don't give a fuck about a Magna Carta or a Magna Charter. They two blocks out like a Tupac with two blocks that don't stop. Where is the goddamn thing at? What is this? This is 2019 immunization waiver form. This is the kind of shit I deal with. And this is through the county of Wayne concerning Hey Rule. Where is the damn after that? I promise y'all I dig through or I dug through Mountains of shit is here. I got the birth certificate in my hand. Though. Better yet, I have the certificate of live birth. And what I told y'all is that I didn't sign it. You know, I was kind of drugged a little bit when I was in the hospital or whatnot. Or maybe just exhausted from giving birth to an eight pound, 8.5 pound baby. But what it says here is... First name not recorded royal. So it doesn't say baby boy royal. It says boy royal on the Hudson Hospital docket. Okay. And below that it says male. So this much I can show you. So let me turn the camera back on until I get to the affidavit of parentage that you all would say was certifiably legal because it says state of Michigan but yet your own brothers and sisters put together an affidavit of fact or something like that and you say that's a fraud the white man ain't going fuck him what about you what about you hmm what about us what about we what about what had happened so right here do I need to move the light Right here, you see, let me go up a little bit. It says first name not recorded. 
let me can they see that but it says male how do i straighten it out to go this way i don't want to give up too much all of that ain't your business but it's saying yeah you can see my name and all of that that ain't everybody didn't it? it don't matter that don't matter i just wanted you to see that what they put on there for him first name not recorded because his mother was not being uh an informant and all of this and all of that but like i said once again it's good to do your own research and shit because people will have you thinking just because you didn't sign a birth certificate that one wasn't put into circulation they put it into circulation the hospital sent it off to the county which made them eligible for a certain amount of funding and you know the county sent it to the state you know which made it um eligible for a certain amount of funding within their annual budget that comes from the biggest criminal enterprise known to man known as the us of a and so on and so forth you know so stop listening to people trying to tell you something you know do your own shit. and if you're not surrounded by individuals who have experience such as myself then you know and it's a hard deal too i feel sorry for some of y'all because some of these brothers and sisters out here are just so fucking mentally unstable and don't got their shit together and i don't know certain things i don't want to say because look it go like this we know like i said i know some men who are complete and some women too but i'm talking about the men now right now who are severely addicted to what they have labeled as crack cocaine right but when you talk about genius geniuses man you have no idea build you a house what do you mean former engineers making hundred and fifty thousand a year or better you know what i mean like geniuses so i don't tend to judge people on face hmm? and not just merely off character either you never know you never know unless you're trying to know and if you ain't trying to know you would never know you won't know shit so what are other it must i guess i stuck it down in this folder right quick so let me see i bet y'all know <coughs> who this is though where that you know who that is don't it <laughs> you know exactly who that is don't it Hmm. Now this particular piece of literature, you know, he re revised and remade this same book about nineteen goddamn times. So when y'all talk about the massive amount of literature that he brought forth, you know, yeah, he did, but some of the shit was like remakes, a puffy remix and shit. It's the remix. So where I see that at? Hmm. You know what's in here? I went through too much to try to pull it out for y'all. <coughs> and I felt strongly about sharing this shit because I have lost an abundance of what makes me who I be as far as documents and things like that. A few weeks ago, somebody hit a lick. And they got one of my wallets from back from that goes back to like 2006 i got a lot of key vital <laughs> shit in it you know i want the ancestors to bring that back to us because i've been a different individual without it one second let me go on the flash this right quick so what to say so once again <laughs> For the people who make videos and they say sovereign citizens, these people think they sovereign citizens and they crazy and all of this. And 
you know, they utilize affidavits and motions and shit like that. That make no sense. So you see this right here. What it has said, it says state of Michigan, Department of Community Health Affidavit of Parentage. You see it, right? So y'all don't have no problem with honoring and accepting and dealing with they affidavits and they declarations and proclamations and constitutions and establishments and corporations and shit. But your own people, we got to be fake or uh, we got to be in a cult and all this other fuck shit. I don't get it, y'all. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> it got to be a scam. So let me ask you some questions and shit concerning this cult shit and this scam shit. You know, granted that, granted that the same way, uh, who was the guy who was the crisis manager for uh, Petty Kelly? I can't remember. It. Sylvester the Molester, Molester Sylvester. Now, this guy has federal cases pending and federal cases that he had prior to him even getting out in the forefront as Petty Kelly's crisis manager, right? Well, he's scamming people and he has scammed people for millions of dollars. Utilizing such names like what's Oprah best friend, Gail, and all of them. Yeah, he can get you on her show and he could do the same the same way he scammed Petty Kelly. The motherfucker actually scammed uh, uh, uh you know, he scammed him. But he scammed many others. But my point is this: you can follow the millions, you know, and you can follow the federal cases against him. So when it comes to brothers and sisters who uh, provide a service pertaining to some type of status corrections and declarations and proclamations, once again, RV Publications made it as to where you could do these things on your own, right? And what y'all are getting caught up on, my people who aren't versed in this information and those of you who uh, make, make accusations of these people being cults and this information being fraudulent, right? This is what happens. You go and you do some type of declaration of sovereignty and affidavit of this and nationality and all of this shit. And you take those documents and you file them somewhere. Okay. Let's say you file them within your county records or some type of municipality or whatever the fuck you're doing. Understand this. The filing of those documents are not being filed so that this particular state and county or established corporation will recognize and honor your sovereignty. No, these documents are put on file as notifications, as public records to let them know what your status is. It's, they don't honor and respect a nothing, God damn it. These motherfuckers will take somebody who's of an Islamic faith and tell them to get on their knees and put their hands behind their head, knowing that people who are of an Islamic faith bow to no one and nobody but Allah. Okay? These are the same people who convict innocent men, women, and children every day of crimes with no fucking injured party. Okay? So my expectations of them are very low and non-existent. But I have better expectations of my own people when it comes to us dealing with us. So when you come out and call somebody a scammer, right? And they say, you say they scamming. Yeah, scam artists. Okay. Let's think about it now. Say you say they doing scams and they a cult. So who who have they injured? Who have they violated? Who violated you? Who is denying you of your human rights, your indigenous rights? Who is refusing to honor your sovereignty? Who doing that to you? And who's laughing at you? For your multiple attempts to be free and sovereign. 
Who laughing at you? Every time you start talking about private and public and all this other shit, who laughing at you and, and, and saying you gonna go to jail? It ain't the police. It ain't the prosecutor. It ain't the judges. Who putting all that negative ass energy out there? So let's just say, let's just say your answer to all of them questions was it's the foreign invaders who are denying my sovereignty and all of this and all of that. Say you say it's the foreign, the pale people. Okay. With that, ask yourself, right? What is the Magna Carta or the Magna Charta? We could skip past the Doctrine of Discovery, the edicts and, uh, and the Papal's Bull of the Pope, so however you want to say that shit, the Spanish Inqu Inquisition. We can go past all that. I want to know why did the foreign invaders need a Declaration of Independence? I know why we need declarations and proclamations and affidavits and sovereignty and reparations and restoration and all of that. I know why we need that shit. But why did they need a declaration of independence back in 1776? And what is the definition or the nature, the true nature of a colonist? What's the nature of a colonist? What's the nature? What's the nature of a conquistador? Hmm. No, I'm just saying. I'm asking the questions of the people. I want to know. I want. I want to know. I want to know why is it that the brothers and sisters out of the more science temple of America, who either carry a ill or carry a bay have issue with the brothers and sisters who are not a part of the Moorish Science Temple, who carry maybe one noble title, maybe one ill, maybe multiple, multiple titles, uh, noble titles, excuse me, a ill, a bay, a day, a Ali, and so on and so forth. Especially if you got an Ali, they really got a problem with your ass. Why? Who made them the goddamn gatekeepers to the titles of nobility? Because we, once again, I may mention this every time I go live that Il, Bay, Day, Ali, Al, those are titles of nobility. Those are the noble titles of the fucking mother plane. Not just over here, not just over there, everywhere. And even if you doubt it with your modern mind and modern tongue only speaking ass, even if you doubt what I'm saying to you, give me something that's going to predate it and suffice. Don't talk to me about no goddamn Blackfoot, Cherokee, Creek to replace titles of nobility that predate any of those uh, uh, names that ain't indigenous. That shit is not indigenous. That shit is not ancient. It's modern. Because if it was some ancient, if it was an ancient uh I don't want to just call it a term, but if, if that was an ancient descent, you know, goddamn well, ain't no European on earth gonna even attempt to recognize it because he can't say it and he can't spell it because he come from a modern people. We're talking about ancient people and ancient things over here. We're not talking about modern shit. When you start talking about a more science temple of America, as an establishment and as an organization, you're talking about modern thing. We over here are talking about ancient shit. And you keep wanting to talk to me about Masonic modern bullshit. Nothing organic and natural and ancient about it is modern bullshit. Which is why they don't want no women nowhere around. When they in a huddle holding on to each other booties and shit. They want they women, they women in a harem, like Petty Kelly in Baby York. This is cycle. This is a fucking repeat. And if we don't check it and correct it, what's going to rain down is the LMNOPTQU as a fucking 
I don't know what, you know, you, you can't call it anything because there's nothing natural about it. And anything outside of nature, nature seeks to destroy. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Hmm. The sun don't make everyone and everything feel good. Okay? Everybody doesn't rejoice with the sun. Hmm? That ain't my fault. But the sun shall seek to destroy things that are not natural of or or of, excuse me, Mother Nature. Mother Netta, 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 Ru, Elohim, and Anunnaki, Nakal, the Nakals. Call it what you want. But you definitely cannot battle me with no ancient shit. I mean, with no modern shit. You come with modern shit. When we talking about ancient ting, you're wasting your breath. So that's it. I, you know, what is the definition and the nature of a colonist? Telling me, telling me. I wrote that down, y'all. Had to look for it. But once again, the affidavits and all of this is shit that is done to put the, the foreign invaders on notice is not for them for us to look for some type of recognition from them. I don't look for them to honor anything because any and everything that we do is lawful based off of nature. And this is not how they are running their enterprise. Okay. They work off of fear. Threat, duress, and coercion. Coercion. That's how they do that shit. That's how they commit the extortion that they commit on the people. So let me do this before I get out of here. Boom, boom, boom. Let me share this with y'all so we can be gone. And y'all can get back to doing y'all. Where is that? Uh, which one it is. And we want the whole team. So... I don't know who it was. It was some, uh, what is his name? What's the TV one news guy? Rolling. Roll it up, my, Roland Martin. Huh. I heard his people mention the 42nd U.S. Code 1983 Civil Action for Deparation of Rights. These are the type of documents that Moors have been constructing for decades now. But now it's in the mainstream. Now people are talking about every person who under the color of any statute, ordinance, regulation. What do I say all the time? Ordinances, regulation, mandates, acts, codes. That's what these people do. This is business talk. This is business talk. And let me say this because I haven't said it in, in, in a long time. Not a long time, maybe a month or so to y'all. Our remedy is in not doing business with these people. We have to stop doing business with the largest, most wealthiest criminal enterprise known to man, which is the United States of America and its affiliates, its subsidiaries known as the state of this and the state of that and the city of this and the county of that. Got to stop doing business with these peoples or with these entities. But once again, every person who under the color of any statute, ordinance, regulation, custom, or usage of any state or territory or the District of Columbia subjects, 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 
or cause us to be subject any citizen of the United States or person within the jurisdiction thereof to the deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities secured by the Constitution and law shall be liable to the party injured in an action at law, suit in equity, or other proper proceedings for redress. When I say redress, I didn't just say redress. I said something else. I used the other word. Redress, except that in any action brought against a judicial officer for an act or an omission taken in such officer's judicial capacity, injunctive relief shall not be granted unless a declaratory decree was violated. Or, uh, I can't say this word real good. Relief was unavailable for the purposes of this section any act of congress applicable 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 exclusively to the district of columbia shall be considered to be a statue of the district of columbia now see for shit like this you need to whip out your law dictionary so you can look at because think about it some people think that rights and privileges and immunities are the same goddamn thing but obviously rights and privileges or immunities can't all be the same damn thing. Okay. And specifically, these rights, privileges, and immunities are only the ones that are secured by the Constitution and laws. You get that? That's how you got to read that. You just can't read this shit. You can't. You can't. You need to whip out 15 different books. Okay, so where we at now? We at the 18 U.S. Code 242, 241, 242, 241, deprivation of rights under the color of law. I couldn't believe that this was on Roland Martin show, although they weren't giving it to you how we giving it to you and letting you know that this shit is about business. We do not have to do business with the enemies of our ancestors who are the enemies of us who shall be the enemies that digging in, that's going to be digging in the pocket of our descendants if we don't correct this shit right now. So, whoever under color, of, what do you say? Whoever under color of any law, statute, or in his regulation or custom willfully subjects any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district to the deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities secured or protected by the Constitution or laws of the Constitution, or to different punishments, pains, or penalties on account of, of such person being an alien, or by reason of his color or race, then are prescribed for the punishment of citizens, shall be fined under this title of, of imprison, not more than a year or both, if bodily inju injury results from the acts committed in violation of this section, or of such act, Include the use, attempt use, attempted use, or threatened use of dangerous weapon, explosive, or fire shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 10 years or both. If death, if death results, the acts committed in violation of this section or such includes kidnapping or an attempt to kidnap, aggravated se sexual abuse, or an attempt to commit aggravated sexual abuse or an attempt to kill shall be fined under this title or imprisoned for any terms of years or for life or both or may be sentenced to death. So we be talking that shit. We not just talking shit. The problem is people don't like to read. You don't like to look shit up. When we start talking about color of law and all this. And you listen to these crazy crackers who got these YouTube shows who show multiple people on here and say that they crazy. They think they sovereign and they ain't here with a fizz and they think they more. Ha ha ha. They going straight to jail. Laugh your ass to a goddamn law library some fucking way. Because everything that we say to y'all, kidnapping, sexual assault, it seems to be that they have already balanced their books. With they millions of statues and codes and regulations and all of this shit. Like I keep telling y'all, one every time they put something negative in, they have to put something positive in. But they don't have to tell you where it's at. And it's difficult as fuck to find some type of remedy, recourse, or redress, as they would say, when you got millions of these motherfuckers piled up on top of each other. 
that's why attorneys need to have multiple uh what you call it uh paralegals and shit like that one attorney don't know shit they don't know a goddamn thing but they all oh, got a lot of money from uh student loans and shit hmm. that they gotta renew that bar card every that's the fuck they know and that they want a check from your ass for any advisory they don't give a fuck about you it's there but it ain't our fault that you don't want to read you don't want to study you don't want to do the work you feel more comfortable going paying an attorney an esquire who's a fucking pauper who's nobody and you being muted as as a minor as a ward of the goddamn state not even able to talk without they ain't even got to tape your mouth like they did the ancestor bobby seal because you don't know no better you don't know what they doing is fucking fraud and extortion and bribery and ransom. You call that shit a bail and a bond. I don't call it none of that shit. How much that ransom is, let's go get that brother, that sister out, and let's really do some team. Let's do some teams that we cannot talk about on YouTube, Facebook, or wherever else y'all be at, Instagram, all of this and all of that. Because these are the things that we have to do. You gonna keep sucking on a poison titty? You do that shit by yourself. You scared to call a duck a duck when it walk like a duck, quack like a duck, shit like a duck? Do that shit somewhere else. We not doing that shit over here. Don't care who like it. Don't care who don't like it. I don't like it either. I don't like the fact that we have to go and pull out their statues and codes and things like this and that in order to get some type of relief. But that's only because we're not relieving ourselves. If we were relieving ourselves and not doing business with these people, when we talk about, oh, you know, we worth so many trillion or we spend so many trillion a year and only if we spent that with one another, how the fuck is you going to do that? How? Well, you don't control shit that's going on politically. How you going to do it? Ten of us move up to multi-billion dollar status and you know what happens they create a bunch of regulations and codes and modify this and all of this and raise the tax on this and come and take this and, and, and we said that eminent domain is that how you say this shit and you abandoned this because we made a new law to said if you ain't here every 15 months for this property and this land would take it from you no we stopped doing business with these bitches and you ain't got to worry about being taxed and kidnapped and all of this dumb shit period I'm just, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I've been tired. I, hmm. Been tired of the shit. I don't know. I was, was asking people to answer the question and, you know. But once again, we're not watching Wild and Out. To your boy, Nick Shannon, Hustle Cannon, put the Dr. Sabi film out. You know, he jumped right out, out the goddamn frying pan, right back in they fucking flames of fucking fire, worry about some fucking TV show. You know? I don't like that guy star either. Star, y'all know the cat, the radio cat. This cat said that he say the locks, he said the locks beat dipset like old slaves, which y'all still go listen to dude shit. Even though you just heard him say a multitude of other racist shit, and he ain't one of us either. He might be about my complexion, but he ain't one of us. See, we don't understand that when your parents is something else or from somewhere else that mean that their relatives are something else and from somewhere else too and they don't represent us 
So those views and, and opinions and shit like that, the same way that they're inbred it was what's inbred from our people in us, it's inbred in some of these people who we all keep insisting on treating as if they one of us and they not one of us. They are none of us. All right. Yeah, so appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hit the like. And what else they do? Hit the like. And if you haven't subscribed to the new Alhambra. Three. Hey, did you look at that Alhambra cartoon I sent you? Oh, my God. And see, I wanted to share it. But I'll say this shit for Saturn's Day. On a Saturn's Day, we'll come back. And I want to show y'all a cartoon. It's from like the 1800s, too. It's like from 1893, 1873, or something like that. And uh, wow. Shit is crazy. We talk about an underground railroad and all of this shit. There's nothing new under the damn moon. Not much. Just a little bit. They just recreate things and profit off of them the same way we do have some of these scammers that look like us but it's just not out of the conscious community and preferably is not the brothers and sisters who are telling you you know what i'm saying and we like like myself who are telling you we need to separate if you are concerned about you know particular documents that you or contracts that you have binded yourself to in the past we suggest that you do your own independent researches and studies. And if you're looking for templates, you know what I mean? They are available online in multitudes, as well as I'm assuming RV Bay Productions or so publications is still in existence. And they have a don't be laughing at me. They be they have a, an abundance of documents that you can construct yourself. But like I said in the beginning, you can construct these documents yourself. Like, like I said, you can do, and as well, like I told you, your state makes affidavits and shit like that too. I, I showed, I showed you. Just the affidavit of parentage. What else I show y'all? I don't know. But like I said, most of what I say concerning my teachings and my situation, you know what I'm saying? I can show it to you. Somebody then shorted me a little bit because they done stole my shit, but yeah, for the most part, I, I can show it to you. As far as uh, Baby York and Petty Kelly and Sloppy Joe, they, they showed it to you themselves. I shouldn't have to tell you any goddamn thing. They showed it already. You try to marry a 15-year-old, uh, you know, you got the other one being uh, uh, accused of, of, of molesting a 14 year old like it just don't stop we we gonna argue about who did it and who didn't do it and i don't want to argue about shit i want to see the warriors step up and fucking handle that i think the best way to go about that is i'm gonna say this and i'm, I'm gonna be out of here if 10 brothers went out and handled two or three known pedophiles right that's one thing you know you know you're gonna have the wealthy corporate criminal enterprise try and intervene okay but if it is a list of let's say 200 known pedophiles and some warriors go out there and handle that shit, that's just too much financially these people are not gonna want to cover that and the type of gratitude, you know what I'm saying? The type of love, the type of relief that your innocent children, women, and men would feel, you know, I think that would recreate and give a rebirth to an energy that has been dormant within many of us. And, and the way to wake that up is, is not going to be us finding out 500 children or 500 women, you know, within your community were sexually assaulted or 500 
men, innocent men, melanated men, women, and children are murdered in one day by the slave patrol officers. That's not going to wake. That's not going to give a rebirth to that energy that we need to come back out of us. What's going to do it is for us to see a multitude of situations fucking handled. That's going to make you be like, that's right, bitch. Let's go. Let's ride. Let's keep riding. You know what I mean? Let's keep handling these situations and making shit right. That's what's going uh, uh that's what's going to be the return of the ancient ones right there. Not us continuously seeing ourselves fall and be violated over and over. I talk about the shit all goddamn day because we have amnesia. I talk about it all the time. That's not going to be the reawakening. The reawakening is going to be once again us seeing a multitude of situations like this situation right here, the baby York, the Petty Kelly shit. Hmm. Once we see a hundred of them taking out at one motherfucking time or within a week's time or whatever the fuck it be at the hands of our very own, not of they penitentiaries hmm, and probation officers and bail officers and shit like that. That ain't going to do it. What's going to do it is when you know that. 1,500 grandmothers or 1,500 grandfathers or 1,500 young melanated men got together and said, you know what? It's enough of this shit. That's when we, those of us who may be on the fucking sideline, who've been spreading the information already, gonna let the world know that these brothers and sisters is untouchable. Don't touch them. The uprising is going to come from the work being done. It's not going to come from the us constantly fucking failing and being murdered. It could have been 500 George, a peace be upon him, George Floyd's happened the same goddamn day. And we'd be in the same fucking predicament. Hmm. But but if 500 dirty cops or 500 dirty judges or 500 pedophiles is wiped out in less than 24 hours, hmm, that shit gonna feel good. Hmm, that's gonna get you ready. All this other shit is a distraction. It's a distraction because we've been getting murdered. Your baby's been getting raped. The rate of your children being homosexual has been, you've been seeing the shit rise. You've seen the shit rise before we seen them putting the shit in, into the school system and into the movies and the cartoons and all of that. You already seen it. You, the same way I seen the two little sixth and seventh grade girls holding hands at, at, at the... Uh, Foot locker and shit. You saw that shit too. You saw it 20 years ago, just like I saw the shit. But guess what? In 2021, it's even worse because y'all haven't checked the baby Yorks and the Petty Kellys and all of that. That's why your babies is gay. I'm going to say it again. I'll probably say it until Facebook be like, you know what? <laughs> it's over. They're going to do, they going to try to do me like they did uh, Boosie. No, they cut Boosie shit out. Boosie went on a rant a few days ago because he tired like I'm tired. And Instagram or whoever took a fucking page again. Because he said, you're not going to make my kids gay with this shit. You got to be in everything. And my thing is this. I, I can, I'm intelligent enough to never use the word gay again. You know why? I, I will just say. I will just say I'm sick of this unnatural bullshit. I'm sick of y'all going against the grain of nature. Hmm? I will be saying the same fucking thing. So that's that, y'all. Holler back on a Saturn's day. Peace and love.